everyone, I'm Will from Envision Self Healing and in today's exercise we're going to be looking at near and far. It does exactly what it says, the idea is to look from a near object over to a far object. And what that is doing is sort of a, a bicep curl, if you will, for the uh, lens in the eye and for the muscles. So let me show you exactly what's going on with this near and far. So this is one of my favorite spots to come and do this exercise here in, uh, in the beautiful San Francisco. And to start with, I always tend to look off into the distance. So there we have Golden Gate Bridge. I'd look out into the distance and then maybe I would shift to some houses. So you've got some houses there. So I would look out at the bridge and then shift and then back shift back. I'd do about 10, 15 of those and then I would shift from say the bridge to a car. It's just down there at the bottom of the hill and then shift between the two. So bridge, car, bridge, car, bridge, car and then I can shift from the bridge to this patch of grass here. So bridge Sorry if you're getting a little bit sick. And what that's doing, what are you laughing at, Richard? Richard's doing the exercise himself. <laughs> and uh, what that is doing is you're, you're moving, your, uh, you're contracting the muscles to go near and far, near and far. And that's helping bring plasticity back to the lens and strengthen the ciliary body, which is, you know, the same muscle as any muscle in your uh, skeletal body that you Otherwise need. Known as the skeletal. <laughs> yeah, this is a conflict of uh, the across the pond England and American uh, language here. So you can then go a step further and you can hold, say, a finger in front of your face and then shift from finger to the bridge, to the finger, to the bridge, to the wall. And um, you can also move sort of uh, through different ones like shuttle runs and what have you or you can just spend longer I know sometimes if I do it too quickly then I could strain my eyes a little bit so try and do it nice and slow you can choose any object if you're in a room you could you know you could do something that's outside the window the window itself and then your finger or if you're out in a park you could do the trees then a dog that's in front of you and then your finger in front of you you know play and change between the different things one thing that we love to do here is be down at the ocean and look out far into the ocean and then maybe find a midpoint where some waves are and then come all the way close again so give this exercise a go it's a real nice one to try it's pretty uh, it's pretty strong on the eyes you're really working those muscles something that's uh, going to help prevent cataracts and certainly presbyopia. So see how you get on and uh, see you soon.